Good day guys, it's me Nate, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to look at something a little bit different. We're going to look at one of the tools you're going to use to mod your game. Um, this was put up in uh, some, some of the comments on how to mod. And to be honest, when I was doing this, I kind of wish someone did a video for me. So this is kind of me giving back some to the community for, to help me uh, tell others to do the mods we're using JSGME. Now, what is JSGME? JSGME is Jonesoft's Generic Mod Enabler. That is fancy for able to... Um, mod your game without having to actually overwrite files. So this will allow you to activate a mod without having to overwrite any files from the game itself. Um, and you can t toggle mods on and off, which is very helpful if you don't want to permanently change your game and have to back up everything. So you can get it from the DCS um, forms on the under the mods and apps uh, sub form. There is a ultimate D DCS world JS GME guide. So I'll put that um, link in the, the description thread. Um, this is an old dated thread from 2012, but it's still accurate. Nothing's changed. Um, just be aware that this file, for, I don't think, works uh, for this website. So get that from the Zippy Share. So I'm just going to open the Zippy Share. Um, you don't have to register or anything, which is nice. Click Download Now, and once you download it, you'll get a small little file, which is, I think, only like yeah, 400 kilobytes uh, big, and you get a little folder in the zip file called JSGME. So I'm just going to drag that out. Where you drag this folder is not critical to the game. I've just uh, I've just put mine in the C drive because it's a tiny file and I've never accessed it ever again after after this installation, but um, I know where it is, so it's important. Just, just, just know where it is. It doesn't matter where you drag it. So drag it out and you'll get a little small folder with um, three files, which are note files, uh, an empty folder, and an, an .exe file, an application file. Um, now this mod folder is designed for holding the mods you want, um, but if we go to DCS World quickly, um, whether you have the Steam version or the non-Steam version, there is actually a folder called Mods Already. Now this is the default mods folder for the DCS's own mods. Um, so the aircraft that you can purchase, the Hawk, the Dora, the, the Saber, all the aircraft go in here. So you actually cannot use that. So what the thread recommends, which is what I've done, um, just to keep it simple, is to rename the mods folder to have a simple modification of the name. So I've made mine underscore mods. So what you want to do is rename this to underscore mods for, for the sake of argument. You can call it whatever you want, star mods, plus mods, whatever. Just as long as you rename it and whoop, move it to your DCS folder. So I've done that. And we can temporarily put this away. We'll be back here in a second. Now the next thing you want to do is create a shortcut to JHGME and drag it to desktop. So I'll put mine there. And I re renamed mine DCS JSGME because this is my DCS JSGME. I have one for BMS and some of my other games. Um, now, once you've done that, we can actually now be done with this folder um, for the for the meantime. Um, so, what's next? Well, we need to bring back up the DCS world folder and copy the address. Um, and then in the properties for JSGME the folder, you need to make it start in the address of your DCS world. So, mine is Steam. So. It, you can see here it's Steam, Steam app, common DCS world. If you have a non-Steam version, obviously just copy the address from the non-Steam version of your installation and put that in there. And once you've done that, you will then be able to boot up the J J JSJME folder. But it will prompt you with this little screen here, which is a small welcome screen and telling you there's a conflict. And so it tells you to where you would like it to look for the mods folder. Um, so you obviously, j for, for the sake of this one, um, you just, uh, uh, if you've used mine underscore, then just put underscore mods or whatever you've renamed it to in the, uh, and then click OK. And once you do that, you'll get a screen like this. Um, mine looks a little bit different. Mine looks a bit like this, which already has mods in it. Now, if I open up my mods folder, you'll see that these are corresponding mods. So um, once you've done that, you're actually good to go and you can just dump all the mods you want in the mods folder here and it will come up here. And to move an, uh, remove a mod, you simply remove it like that and add like that. And it's that simple. It really is so straightforward to just activate and deactivate mods like this. Um, and I do believe that there's no permanent mods. If there's a conflict, they'll let you know. Um, and But uh, the bigger files will take longer to load and activate. So my this this is a huge 3 gigabyte like terrain mesh. Um, it turns DCS into a desert looking terrain and it, it takes a while for that to happen. But um, it, it lets me to have it in desert when I feel like it and maybe winter when I feel like it. Um, it's very, very straightforward. Um, there uh, on the for on the thread about it, it does ask you or recommends you to generate a snapshot of the game files. I believe this does what it says it does, which is it takes a a a, 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 a snapshot 
of what your game folder looks like. So in case something does go horribly wrong, it's able to um, regenerate it according to the snapshot. But I do believe this takes up a large file. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on this, so um, take your uh, take it uh, with a grain of salt. But I've just I haven't done it. I've just put my mods full as it is. Um, it's if you have any problems with my video, I just recommend you look at the form thread, which I'll, again I'll link in the description. It's very straightforward. There's only six steps. I think the seventh step is just actually activating the mod. There's very, very little to it. Um, uh, if you guys have any more questions, I, I recommend you direct them here to the form thread um, or, or just read it or ask me in, in, the, in this comments below. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Um, it's Nate out. If you guys have any questions or any recommendations, put them in the comments below. I'll try my best to address them. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.